Welcome to the home science lesson on food and its nutrients. In this lesson, you will learn about food and its importance for healthy living, nutrition and nutrients, and functions and sources of nutrients. You'll also learn about deficiency diseases, need for eating variety of food, relationship between nutrition and health and much more. Let's begin with the importance of food in our lives. Food is not just something we eat to satisfy our hunger. It's our source of energy, like fuel for a car. It gives us the strength to perform daily activities. Food is also essential for our growth and tissue repair. Our bodies are made up of thousands of tiny cells. When we eat, we provide our bodies with the building blocks they need to make new cells, replace damaged ones, and grow. But food isn't just about growth and energy. It's our shield against diseases. We're constantly surrounded by harmful organisms, but the food we eat helps protect us. When we fall ill, food aids in our recovery. Even when we're at rest, our vital organs are hard at work. Our heart, stomach, and lungs never stop, and they need energy to function. That energy comes from the food we consume. Of course, food is not just about physical needs. It satisfies our hunger, provides mental satisfaction, and plays a significant role in social events. Food brings people together and creates a sense of community. Now, let's talk about the different nutrients found in our food. There are seven common nutrients. Carbohydrates are like the fuel for our bodies. They come from foods like potatoes, rice, and sweets. Carbs give us energy, make our food taste good, and keep us feeling full. Proteins are essential for building muscles, repairing tissues, and making blood, enzymes, and hormones. You can find them in meat, eggs, and plant sources like pulses and nuts. Fats, though needed in smaller quantities, are concentrated sources of energy. They also help keep our bodies warm, aid in digestion, and protect vital organs. Minerals like calcium and phosphorus are vital for bone strength, muscle contraction, and blood clotting. Get your minerals from milk, green vegetables, and iodized salt. And don't forget about vitamins. They are essential for various bodily functions. Vitamin A is excellent for vision, and it's found in vegetables, fruits, and dairy products. Vitamin C helps keep our cells together and our gums healthy. You can get it from fruits like guava and amla. Lastly, dietary fiber, found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, keeps our digestive system healthy, prevents constipation, and lowers the risk of diseases like cancer and diabetes. Remember, water is not a nutrient, but it's crucial for our bodies. It helps digest food, regulate temperature, and eliminate waste. But what happens if we don't get these nutrients in our diet? Deficiency diseases can occur, weakening our bodies and affecting our health. Protein energy malnutrition, PEM, happens when we lack proteins and energy for a long time, mainly affecting young children. It can lead to growth failure and infections. Vitamin A deficiency can hinder growth and even cause night blindness. So, remember to include vitamin A-rich foods in your diet. Iron deficiency anemia results in fatigue and weakness. Make sure to get enough dietary iron for healthy blood. Vitamin B and C deficiencies can cause mouth problems, digestive issues, and overall weakness. Avoid these by eating a balanced diet. Iodine deficiency can lead to gorter, intellectual disabilities, and other issues. Protect yourself by using iodized salt. To stay healthy, remember to eat a variety of foods. No single food can provide all the nutrients your body needs. That brings this lesson to an end. For additional information on this lesson, please look at the content below the video in the online course. To get a list of the important questions and their answers for this lesson, 
Please refer to the guide book by our publications provided to you with this course for free. It shows you a list of all the questions that have the highest chance of coming in your next exams based on research carried out on previous year question papers. All the best and I'll see you in the next lesson.